my only down for the fact that I'm so honest Cause me and Element will run you for your own What up, it's Connor from Attitude Inc. TV I'm here with J57 and Concept In the stream like a fiend chasing the dragon Wait till after it happens, the album is out Then you can save your little comments with your hand over your mouth Six is about to break, circuit break out the wall And my voltage electrocutes, executives you call Happy birthday, Jay. Thank you. No worries, man. So the reason why we're here is for the full bottle tour. Yeah. You guys excited and pumped for it, man? Yeah, I mean, I've been trying to come out here for like a long ass time, so like it's cool to finally, you know, have it happen and it's on my birthday, so that's pretty cool, you know what I mean? Concept was here last year and he's just as excited as I am, even though he's been here already, you know, so yeah. that's how it is. So you guys are here for the full bottle tour. I mean, how are you feeling about it? Pretty pumped. I know you've got a couple of UK dates, you've got Switzerland dates for me. Yeah. How's it been and how do you think it's going to go, man? So far it has been beautiful, or as Jay just said, glorious. Um, yeah, I mean, we did Cambridge. Cambridge was incredible. Um, we did Brighton last night. Brighton was incredible as well. Um, like Jay said, I was, out, I was out here last year and, and Cambridge and Brighton were two places that I didn't get to do last time. Yeah. Um, so there's new places and the crowds were great, the cities were great, people were great, a lot of fans came out, knew all the words to the songs and full bottle tour. By the end of the day though, there was no full bottles left, unfortunately, or fortunately. And uh, today is J57's birthday, so uh, there will definitely be probably a thousand more empty bottles by tomorrow morning. Um, yeah. Glorious. So I suppose it makes sense to me ask how you guys met. Like, how did you guys hook up and what's the story behind that one, man? Um, yeah, basically, so, you know, I'm an MC and producer and he's an MC. Um, you know, we worked at a record store called Fat Beats Records in New York City. Um, you know, legendary hip-hop store and just whatever, you know, just amazing, like, staple for hip-hop in New York City. And, um, you know, I was working there first or whatever, didn't meet him yet. I was playing some of my beats at the store. I was just hanging out, you know, my friend with me, Brubs. And, uh... And this guy walked in, and he didn't even like, he didn't even say what's up to me or anything. He just goes, he was like, yo, whose beat is this? And everyone points at me, and he goes, yo, could I rap right now? And I'm like, yeah, go ahead, man. I'm like, who is this guy, you know? And he just starts spitting. He just starts spitting. He was just like, I'm really into this beat. This is crazy. He's like, starts spitting. And I was like, all right, all right. I stopped him when he was trying to leave after. He like, just was going to rap and then like look at records and leave. Yeah, I was like, yo, give me your email or something, man. Let's work on something. And that's how it started. I'm Jack Donaghy, Lone Shark in the FIFA brothels. Beef and broccoli rocking, oldie and falafel. Scientology. Each word is fucking retarded. Retmatic on the beat. What the fuck have you started? Chilling. The concept you've got the Mock Disney EP yeah. coming out. Yeah, yeah. How you feeling about that, man? Uh, How's it going? Am I allowed to curse on here? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, yeah, we have Mold Disney coming out. Comes out uh, February 26th. Um, but what I have, I have uh, like the exclusive tour edition CDs um, with me for the full bottle tour. Um, that come with posters too. Um, super excited about the project. Um, so we put it out like right when we come back. We're doing uh, at the shows, we're doing a couple, a joint or two that no one's even heard yet from it, um, and the response has been really good for it so far. Um, what I was gonna say though, if you like to fuck, drink beer, and smoke some shit, you are going to love Malt Disney. But more importantly, if you like to have fun, you are going to love Malt Disney. And who doesn't like to have fun? Do you like to have fun? I like to have fun. I like <laughs> to have lots of fun. So what's your like, what's your guys' inspiration? What did you grow up with? What are you listening to now? Like, who's who was an icon for you when you were my age, man? Like, when you were 20, what what was your inspiration? What got you into hip hop, man? Um, I mean, I started I started rhyming when I was 16 and making beats when I was 20, like 19, dur like turning 20, you know. And um, so yeah, when I was your age, I was you know heavily influenced by you know Wu Tang, RZA, you know, Gangstar, DJ Premier, obviously. Um, those were like, you know, for as a producer, those were like my main influences and like those are the dudes that, those were the two dudes that made me want to do music, like really, really do music, you know? And uh, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of other MCs and stuff like that, but those were the two cats. Yeah. What about you, man? What got you kind of going? What made you want to rhyme and stuff, man? Um, I mean, I grew up listening to everything from, you know, Nas to Wu-Tang to Tribe Called Quest to De La Soul to, to Redman, Foul Munch, you know? Um, so I guess that was my inspiration. Um, I was also, um, you know, I started at a young age as a graffiti writer, actually. Um, and then then started DJing and then started rapping. Um, and yeah. So obviously, Brown Bag All Stars. How's that been going for you, man? How's it been working out? Obviously, you got Soul Kind, you got Element, you got Jefferson. I've known Jefferson Price 10 years, you know what I mean? Been working on music with him since I started making beats. And long story short, 
that's family right there and brown bags a big family you know the, we got the core group like you were saying all the all the members and stuff and and then we got like you know just all this extended family and, and you know buddha french as well is definitely in the family too and it's just like crazy that we get to come over here and rock with you know f extended family that we have that live over here and whatever else and it's been good but brown bag's been going great like just in general like that's our that's our family those are my brothers you know what i mean so it's like you can't ask for a better situation, honestly. It's like, we got blessed. Yeah. Yo, it was blessed, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you guys rock? Like, what do you rock back home? Like, do you think style is different over here? What's the sort of vibe, man? Like, you know, we rock a lot of the same stuff, actually. Like, it's cool being in here and seeing, like, Diamond Supply and all this other stuff. Like, that's what's popping in New York right now, you know? Like, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, we rock for a lot of... I mean, I don't even go down the list because we have a lot of people that hook us up with gear and everything, but... Yeah, Abe, you know, Animal, you know, Belief, Still Proud, which I'm wearing on my head right now. Um, like, we just, you know, we're, we're down with a lot of cats, and it's really cool to link up with you guys now, you know. This is, like, dope. Yeah, this store is really dope. So, I mean, yeah, same fashion, really. It's the same stuff. The only thing that was different, and we know we both noticed this, was that Carhartt was not the same over by us. It's more like, for like if you're, like, I don't know, working or something. Like, you know, like workman stuff and over here it's more fashion and it's dope over here I've watched many climb and many fall should have locked the harness in the hook is part to blame for the look that starts to garnish him damn Gina what if you were half the man that Martin is pardon him on a whim can win without your heart in it I've named expected for you from 2013 and from big what you're gonna play the fade out with man. that's a great question because I have a lot coming out <laughs> I'm just gonna I mean I have a lot of projects so nobody get mad at me who I have a million EPs and whatever else with because they all they all mean a lot but um the stuff that I'm almost done with is what I'm gonna talk about now and that's uh, I have an album with my man Blame One from the West Coast, you know, LA. Um, he's in a crew called Dirty Science, which is Blue in Exile, Fashion, Aloe Black, and you know, like Joe Haas. It's a really dope crew, and so that this album is is Dirty Science and Brown Bag, you know, as a as a family, as a team, or whatever, like you know, just building. And um, so I got that album. I got an album with my man Homeboy, actually EP with my man Homeboy Sandman. Um, we're one track away from finishing that, and uh, can't wait to have that come out. You don't even understand. And uh, I and yeah, Sam as the man, and that's those are just two things that are almost done. And then I have the full album with Concept, full album with Soulcon that I'm producing everything, and Brown Bag album. What else can we expect to drop from you this so, year, man? Uh, this year I'm gonna put out a few EPs. I got um, the first one, Walt Disney, February 26th. Um, it'll be out for a free download as well. Um, and then after that, I have another EP with uh, my homie Pneumonics um, from Florida. Um, that's called Wings. Um, and then later in the year, I'll have another EP as well with uh, my homie DJ Brace. Um, and then in May, me and Jay are going out actually to record our album where he's producing on the whole album and I'm rapping on the whole album. Um, we're recording that with Red Bull actually in LA. Um, so we're super pumped for that. And uh, yeah, I mean, and then the Brown Bag album and a whole, probably a whole bunch of other joints. And we're going to have a ton of videos too. We have a ton, like as soon as I get back from this, basically we're going to start with a whole uh, whole video campaign as well. So. so obviously you guys are on the full bottle tour. I mean, it's you, Concept, and Buddha French. I mean, how did that friendship come about, man? How did you guys discover Buddha French? I mean, the Ipswich kind of guy, Ipswich is his hometown, and how did you discover him, man? I was managing uh, my man Scene. You know, I was managing very briefly uh, Scene and Solcon. And while I was managing, Scene linked me up with, with him. They were like, they knew each other, they were friends, and we were talking about getting Scene out here to rock and all this other stuff. And, uh, but, you know, but Buddha French was kind of like not really doing that anymore. He wasn't booking people. And so either, but we kept in touch because he was mad cool. And uh, like, you know, it's funny because I didn't, I knew him for a good few months and we were just cool. I didn't know he even rapped. I didn't know his whole history with the battling and all that crazy not nonsense. And, uh, and somebody kind of put me onto it and he sent me a track and I was like, damn, he's dope. Like he's really, he could really rap. Like that's ill. So I gave him a beat and I was like, let's see, you know, let's see what he does with it. He made a dope track, never came out. Um, and then he's like, yo, here's a sample, and that's, that's the 61 Grace record. He gave me that sample, he sent it to me, and I was like, yo, I'm the, I know exactly how I'm flipping this, you know? And brought in Concept, they, they, they linked up before he came here for the tour, right? And then since then, they got real tight, you know? First time I talked to Buddha French, actually, was when, like around that time, but it was actually Jefferson Price featured me, him, and, right? That was the Brown Bag joint, I think. It was Brown Bag joint and, and Buddha French. Um, and I remember I, I had the I was going right after Buddha, so Buddha had sent me his you know eight bars or whatever for me to rap off of his shit, um, and I rapped like nine and a half bars for some weird reason, 
Uh, and we went with it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Nine and a half what? hours. It's the inside joke forever. Yeah, you, you kind of discounted. <laughs> kind of discounted a little bit. It sounds great, though. It's cool. <laughs> It's been really cool having you guys, man. Thanks for coming down to the store. It's been wicked interviewing you guys. Can't yeah, wait yeah. to see you guys tonight. Yeah. Good luck with the rest of the tour. Thank you. Salud. Pleasure. Concept Brown Bag All Stars Full Bottle Tour here at Attitude Inc. Super dope shop. And uh, we're having a great time on this tour. Yo, what's up, J57 Brown Bag All Stars? Peace, bruv. Uh, yo, basically chilling here at Attitude Inc. It's incredible. Shouts to the whole crew here. Family right here. Ippy is the city. Song. Epitome of this music, you use it pitifully. I've been typically known for getting silly for years. Recently, I've been lazy like insert simile here. It'll be weird when I.